Greetings from New Jerusalem Triple Seven. Um, this is part three of my video series, um, Signs of Counterfeit Christians, okay? And I'm going to go over um, about the substitutionary sacrifice of one's own sacrifice, which would have been all eternal damnation in hell, okay, if, if it wasn't for Jesus. And this is why Paul placed so much emphasis on the doctrine of a believer's eternal salvation as a true sealant of one's soul once one is born again or regenerated or justified okay this is why no other so-called gospels have any power to save souls because they contain no life in them um nor hope and that's why paul clearly said that these other gospels aren't the gospel these counterfeit gospels aren't good news at all for example the Arminius gospel contains messages such as as long as a person live a live a life of constant repentance sinless perfection performs good works, lives a life of complete obedience or submission to God's will, and many other works or legalism-based salvation, one is saved or have um, salvation. But, uh, but if one falls short of this impossible perfect perfection, one is no longer saved and can still go to hell. I mean, that's talking about a Bible-believing, a true-believing Christian, a true, a true Christian. I mean, I don't understand that. The Bible said that all mankind has fallen short of the glory of God. And also, if one committed just one small sin, whether through th um, thought, word, or deed, has violated all of God's perfect law and commandments, which makes one unworthy to enter into the presence of God's glory on one's own goodness. Since And so, since mankind is corrupted by nature, then there's no hope in eternal life because none of us qualify. So, it is impossible to be saved by his by this gospel because it lacks the saving power of God and it focuses on man man's works of the flesh instead of God's works of his as, as his holy spirit okay and again this counterfeit gospel attacks the finished works of Jesus fulfillment of the law during his life death on the cross burial in the grave and resurrection to full glory and absolute victory over satan and death okay and as for the calvinistic gospel contains messages such as uh, God predestinates a few chosen elect ones to be saved before time begins. Mankind does not have the ability to change one's destination because it's fixed or predetermined by God because it's his sovereign will or it's to God's glory or pleasure of the death and destruction, eternal hell for most of mankind because he created them for that purpose or God hates many, all none. Um, elected chosen babies or little children aren't going to heaven if they die at that age, you know, if they die at the young age like that. I mean, that's sick. God meant for all evil to happen to his glory and some other crazy and repulsive garbage their gospel could steam up. I mean, steam up for the itching and tickling ears of many deceived professed Christians who are Calvinists. This is just so disgusting to my core. I am very appalled at the fact that so many professed Christians fall head over heels over this filthy garbage. So convinced in their minds they doing, they doing God's will. It does not matter how nice some of these professed Christians are because it totally sickens me that anyone who supposedly be of God follow this sort of godless doctrine. Error begets error. Evil begets evil. So such a doctrine begets nothing more than evil. I don't care who get offended about what I'm saying here because it's the truth about the Calvinistic doctrine is of Satan, okay? So there is no way that a soul can be saved by the Calvinistic doc gospel version because personal repentance of sin um, nor faith or belief on Jesus is not involved in it at all. It, it's not it's involved in it at all. It's not. How can that be when God forces a few to come to faith and at the same time forces the rest to be lost, wait to die at any moment just to be, just to burn in hell for eternal because it's his sovereign will. I mean, no wonder many upon many churches fail to win many, to win souls for God as, you know, you know, it is said in the Bible, the wise thing to do. Many people are just turned away from the Christian faith because of this doctrine alone. There is no love in such nonsense at all. And I damn, I'm i damn angry about this Calvinistic garbage because it alone just strengthens the arguments of atheists, evolutionists, 
agnostics, Gnostics, and many who don't want God in the first place, all the more. Okay, it's just all, just even more. And honestly speaking, from a Bible-believing Christian, I see why these people feel such repulsiveness towards Christianity and God because of so many unloving, stiff-necked, prideful, hateful, evil, hypocrites, professed Christians from either side, either the side of Calvinism or Arminianism. That's the sort of fruit that these two, like many other false forms of Christianity, creates. I don't give a damn if you don't like what I have to say here. You can do all the refuting videos of me all you want because it won't amount to a molehill, nor will I even waste my time watching them. So don't even, don't expect me to watch your videos. I don't care because I'm not going to get in the middle of your mess. And because I'm righteously angry of all the deceiving that's going on in the church, and I just about had, had it with it, period. I mean, I'm, I'm coming from the word of God here, so I don't need any approval from any man, period. I'm especially angry about the many souls you false teachers and preachers are sending to hell because, you know, you block the kingdom of God from them because of your lies. And how dare you? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not attacking everyone who are Calvinists or Armenians. I mean, I said before, there's true Christians in these, in these sects too, right? No, I'm just, I'm attacking the false teachers, the preachers, and all of those who knows better. I warn all of you to stop blindly following and listening to men and women and read and study God's word for yourselves because it is the right thing to do. John Calvin, Jacob Harmon, Arminius are long dead, still in their graves, awaiting their resurrection to either glory or shame. The only man you should listen to is God's word to Jesus, okay? Because as Paul said, if anyone or, or even an angel of light preaches another gospel which is not other than the one ordained by our risen Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that we preach let them be a curse that means let them be damned to eternal hell that's the bottom line here folks you know I hate saying things like this but there's just way too many folks playing with eternal hell fire by choosing to believe in counterfeit gospels made up by men demons and Satan instead of the simple gospel of God's grace some of you may be thinking or saying, what's, what's the big deal whether someone follow Calvinism or Arminianism? They're both a part of true Christianity. Well, the big deal is these two main strains of the church organization is the version of so-called gospels that are not as, as, Paul, as, as uh, Paul put it in the sermons, um, commentaries, and writings of mere sinful men as being equal to God's living words. Many in churches today are committing idol worship taken after the names of men who died long ago or even some that are living now, whether one may call oneself a Calvinist or an Arminianist or whether uh, other denominations out there, I mean, isn't just being a Christian enough. I mean, Christian is a true believer in Christ, a follower in Christ, of Christ, taking on the likeness of Christ, identified in Christ within the body of Christ. Likewise, if one, call one, if, if one calls oneself or take on the name of another, isn't it the same thing as that? I mean, one may, one may say, well, these great men of God or church fathers spoke the word of God, did many great things, so what? You know, you brush it off, yeah, I know, so what? So did Paul, Peter, John, and many others in the Bible. Now, I'm going to leave you with that thought because, I mean, I'm going to end this video right now. And um, I'll see you in my next video. It's part four.